Applying textures is a great way to add some direction to an image that you're not really sure about. So take this image here of this flower I took. I don't really know what I want to do here. I like what's going on in terms of the focus of the flower, but overall the image itself is just kind of flat. So if I go to the textures category here in Perfect Effects 4, I'm going to start with something like a brocade cool. And the reason why I'm doing that is because these uh, patterns here kind of complement the overall floral scene. Now, uh, the thing about textures is uh, being able to control uh, where it applies, not just applying texture on top of texture uh, globally. It just kind of ruins the image. So watch what happens if I use a masking bug as part of Perfect Effects and I click in. The default bug is uh, square or planar, but I can go to the top here to the tool options bar and select round. Now, I can use the bumpers at the edge of the bug to create my own kind of custom vignette I really only want the brocade to uh, localize to the bottom right uh, corner of the frame. And by using this bug, I can control just how much or how little of it appears. Now I'll hit add to continue on. And so I'm going to scroll down and I know we have some textures that have uh, text patterns on them. So I'm going to apply this one right here. It has a nice kind of scripty font, uh, except it's going up and down and that's the wrong direction. So over here on the right, I can rotate this in one click so that it's going instead of up and down, uh, left and right. And I really want to localize it um, everywhere but the uh, flower. So I'm going to go back to the masking bug and I'm going to click on it. I'm going to maintain the planar uh, bug shape and I'm just going to put it over here. The other thing I'm going to do is drop that opacity a bit just so that it's, uh, it's not totally there. I don't want to have it that dark. Uh, I'll hit add and we'll add one more texture. And so the texture that I want to add, I want it to kind of border uh, the image. I want to have a little bit of a frame. And so I'm going to use one of my absolute favorite textures here. Uh, it's towards the bottom, and it's called Rice Paper Light. It's right over there. And usually I actually stretch it out using the scale slider. But in this case here, I like that natural border that's applied. And so you can see what we were able to do if we toggle the before and the after using the little preview checkbox. Here's the before. Here's the after. And it just looks really cool. Um, it's very presentable, and it's something that you could actually print and hang on a wall because of that artistic element that you added. So be sure to play around with all the texture options in Perfect Effects for part of the all-new Perfect Photo Suite 7.